Good morning, Shade, as well. Overnight, we saw the US dollar index uh, ultimately firmer in a choppy session where the dollar index hit a low of 103.18 in the APAC session where it got off to a pretty slow start, then reversed course in the US session to hit a high of 103.71. Sour risk environment after some misses in US retail sales and probably traders getting long before the FOMC minutes seem to be real, the key drivers. Uh, the actual reaction to the minutes was pretty muted, a slight pop after they came out, only to retrace pretty quickly. Nothing really new was said. Uh, dollar index now sandwiched there on a, in between its 200 day moving average and that kind of key support level at 103.60 coming into the APAC session. Aussie dollar, US dollar got off to a fly in the APAC session um, after what was seen as pretty hawkish minutes out of the RBA. Uh, that did fade later on. It, fa it failed to breach key technical resistance there at the 200 day moving average at around 65.90 um, and finished the session flat ultimately. Key levels to watch today will be the 65.24, which is the top of its uh, recent range, and also that aforementioned um, 200 day moving average to the upside around 65.90. Um, we do have Governor Bullock to look forward to as well today for Aussie traders later tonight, Australian time. Uh, the euro and the pound, the euro was. Um, G10 laggard of Euro USD hit a low of 109.01 for finding a bit of support at that big figure there. Uh, ECB President Lagarde did speak, but did fail to inspire the bulls. And there was also some budgetary issues uh, from Germany, which weighed on the single currency. And, but on the other hand, the pound um, had a great day that with cable outperforming, having a positive session after some hawkish commentary from the Bank of England. Uh, this saw a, a real sharp drop in the Euro pound cross rates. Uh, after it's found some resistance to that 87.50 level, and it's now looking to be testing that lower trend line there. Uh, gold was a breakout um, market, uh, setting new November highs and went right up to test those October highs as well at 2009, but finding some resistance. So that came despite um, despite the overall US dollar, which would definitely cheer the gold bulls there. Um, seems to be falling yields and probably the souring risk sentiment that, that helped gold up there. But that'll be a key market to watch today.